Okay, everybody. This is a installation of a 3,000 and 5,000 gallon grease interceptor. Right here, uh, we've set all the manhole rings, set all the manhole lids, and uh, this one's a pretty deep one. This one went down. We had to dig down about 13, 13, 3, 13, 5, and uh, pad up with uh, rock and gravel. And then we set these interceptors. The inlet to the interceptor was around seven feet, so we had to go pretty deep to meet the inlet and the outlet as the tie-ins. But uh, I'll show you the inlet part. This is where it comes in. All the grease goes through those sections of the interceptor, you know, clarifiers or what what you call it. And then as it comes out, it comes out of the back end, out of the outlet, and ties into the main. Um, we can walk over real quick and I can show you right here is a sewer line which is not going into the grease interceptor but as we come out of the outlet area this is our outlet of the grease interceptor this is where the grease comes out after it's getting going through the different sections where it clears out all the grease stays and the water comes out of here what's left over that's a sample box area as you can see it's uh, not like the circle rings but it's a square cover so you can sample the city or whoever can come and sample what's coming out of the grease interceptor this is the outlet comes out comes over ties into your sewer main over here we have an 8 inch it's an 8 inch clay pipe over here as you can see it's kind of foggy to see it but as you get in here this one's here you can see a clay pipe and this we had a T we had to cut in these T's here it was a saddle that we had to cut in, knock a hole in there and put a, a branch in there, a piece of piping, they call it a saddle. It's like a Y, it's a Y saddle. And uh, we cut that in and put epoxy and then we concreted around it. And so we can have that tie in there. This is a uh, type of piping is called SDR 35. And it's used for site work and underground drainage. Uh, it's good pipe as it's cheaper than ABS and it's plastic so it works out pretty good. Comes in here and you can see we're pretty deep in here. Down where I'm at we're about 10 feet, 12 feet and then it goes up. These interceptors were had a set down pretty deep. The outlet coming out of the building over there. See where that where that first time I first part I showed you it uh, came out of the building about seven feet so uh, we had to set this pretty deep and you can see it's about where the top of that grease interceptor we got six uh six 12 inch um, extensions with the six inch extension in the middle and that was to bring us up to the grade uh, to the flush with the concrete more or less with the li it's a little higher then we'll do for rain and purposes, we'll uh, grade it down a bit. It has a little bit of grades on top, so worked out pretty good. This right here is a four inch sewer. This is only sewage. And what we're doing is we brought it around the interceptor and we're gonna put a 45 up in this area. We're gonna come over here and tie in. We're gonna put a Y here. That's basically our Y 45 as this guy so it's a six by four this puppy basically sits in there and is gonna pick up that uh four inch sewer because out here now from this part on after the interceptor this is where uh we're able to get that water out of the interceptor and it comes right to the sewer now we're all sewer from here so then i come and tie this sewer line in and we'll be good to go Comes out here, goes down into the sewer main. See the depth we're at here? So, works out pretty good. 
we had a good backhoe guy come out and I laid everything out and uh, he's a good good with his machine so he trenched it out perfectly for me I had to do a little uh, fine tuning but basically got us where we have to go over here is another grease interceptor this is a 5,000 gallon the one we saw before is a 3,000 gallon so this one's a little bit bigger uh, quite a bit bigger it has a uh, four box four 1500 uh, gallon boxes and the other one has um, two 1500 gallon boxes so I'm sorry these are 1250 1250 are the size of the boxes which will equal a 5,000 gallon okay so that's a little bit different but it's about the same concept here right here we have the clean out here you can see coming up when we backfill we'll have that put we'll put some uh put a yard box uh, a rated for uh, h20 uh, clean out cover and that'll be good to go here once we get it all backfilled and these two both grease interceptors are six uh six inch so the six inch piping comes out because of the fixture units they have quite a, it's going to be a big food hall eatery and they have quite a bit of grease coming out so sometimes you get four inch these are actually six inch pipes of uh, picking up all the kitchens that are in this uh, restaurant which is uh right here's the top of your slab but this is where out so this one too came up about six nine almost close to seven feet deep before we get into the grease interceptor so then it set our interceptors pretty low but it still worked out these uh, interceptors are a little different than the jensen and uh, they have a deeper cover these ones are called procast and they work out good what's nice about this one is that the sewer lines on the uh, way other far end and we just have it tied in the other one we had to bring around the sewer was close over here and came around we're coming around the side like the one that we just saw so over here let me kind of jump in there and i'll show you the other end see right here right here we're on the side of the interceptor these are the manholes these are set on each boxes and they have pipes going through them so each box is uh, 1250 gallons goes through one box kind of clarifies it goes to the other box clarifies that one comes through then you got a manhole ring for servicing here and this is another 1250 here and then you come to your last one and you can see the pipe inside is where the grease stays and the water comes through these pipes kind of neat you know they have a different way there's different types of interceptors this one has uh, the way this is made and it's uh, worked out good for us it's worked out pretty good can't complain these are your manhole rings and covers and here's your sample box again so the other side you saw was the inlet and then this is the outlet this outlet this comes out comes over you get your clean out and back and it comes over and ties into the sewer comes over does a 45 two 45s and kind of the same concept we we cut in a saddle there on the there's an eight inch main down there clay and we're going six into the eight we uh, did a clay uh, saddle and we epoxied it let that set for a day or two and then we concreted that you know we sit concrete all around on that uh in that y area so that way it holds nice and tight and said so this was all six inch and good thing about this one now we see with the shade and all that we uh have a four inch main coming in uh this is picking up all the toilets and all the sinks and stuff besides the kitchen there's a uh, public restrooms inside and some other so we have a four inch waste that comes at this back end and you can see it uh, ties in here so after that waste comes out of the out of the interceptor you're basically sewer from that point again you get your clean out up here 
and then it comes out comes over brought in your uh, four inch here your four inch sewer tie that in and then it goes down your sewer pretty simple you know like I said right here we're about down at the at the end where the Y is at it's about 12 feet uh, to the sewer line so everything's trenched out. We had shoring and everything before. Right now we're at the final stages and this actually is a uh, pretty hard dirt. It's like clay, almost like rock in, in a lot of areas. So we we're fine, good to go. But you do want to have shoring at uh, times that you're in there to do the piping. And sometimes you have to pull it just to get the piping in. But we had just pulled the shoring just a few days ago and you know, after we got all the piping in and everything, so. so you get pretty deep. See over here. Again, we have your uh, manholes, and then this is your sample box area. So in case they want to ever take a sample of what's kind of coming out and going down the sewer. That's what you got. You know, so again, this was your, this is your other sewer line. We're going to we have a combi over here. And we're going to put a 45 on that and bring that up for a clean out on the outside of the building. So it works out. Works out pretty good. Uh, again, this is GL Plumbing Service. And we're over here in the Los Angeles area. This area here is the city of industry. And uh, they're doing a new restaurant. So we're doing a new restaurant for them. And putting in their uh, grease interceptors at this point. Over here, we're, all this rock is going to go right in here. We uh, just having to just finish the piping, and then we're just going to get the rest of the backfill inside, and uh, we'll be good to go for inspection. You know, here we got your rings and your manhole manhole uh, rings and cover. We use gravel on the sides of it because it's a self-compacting type of. Uh, deal here is all gravel and a little bit of sand in there we got a uh, bright gravel and a little bit of leftover other gravel we had so we're able to fill well we did get all the smaller stuff in first and the bottom and everything to fill in and this is our leftover gravel here you know so we're gonna backfill all this inside and uh this side's all done so the other one is we're just finishing up the rest of that piping and uh, we'll be good to go. You know. And here again, this was your inlet coming out. This is coming out of the building here. We attached, it was ABS inside and then we went SDR on the outside. Uh, just to be a little more economical. It's actually a really good pipe. It's just as good as ABS or better. And uh, works good. We got the clean out there and it's approved for underground. It's called SDR 35. And we have that uh, piping all pretty much ready to go. You know, all tied up. It's just a little bit thinner. It's not as thick as ABS. ABS has a little bit thicker wall. Let me get up here. And that's basically it. We're basically finishing the piping. I said there, right there, we're going to cut in a 45. And on this back end, we're actually going to pick up a drinking fountain that's up there. But uh, everything else, uh, it's pretty much done. Like I said this is all tied in here. And I thought I'd just make a video for the folks at home to see what's going on. And if they ever come across a grease interceptor, if they need help, they can always uh, give us a call. Or this is just for your own information in case you guys are setting a grease interceptor. Uh, that you guys uh, have an idea of what's going on and what you might want to do and how to install it. Usually the interceptors have dimensions of how they say they want it dug out. So we dug out this wide more just to have room for the installation. It's about two feet on the, about a foot or two, a little under two feet on each end. You know, or uh, have it all backfilled, like I said, on the back area here. Have it all backfilled, you know. And your rings. And that's basically it, folks. Uh, if you guys ever need help, this is GL Plumbing Service. And again, we're in the Los Angeles area. 323-899-0190 or 
1-800-227-7643. And we have many years in the new construction and uh, tenant improvement area. And right here, pretty much coming out on this one. We're going to put a coupling here. We're going to come out a bit, put a clean out in the back. Tie that and bring it around and we're basically done. Just wanted to give a give a video for the folks at home again and uh, hope you have a happy installing your interceptor or if you have any questions or uh, concerns uh, please give us a call again this is GL plumbing service have a good day folks okay call anytime and uh, good luck with your project